Two Trends. I'm Jameson. I'm Enos. Welcome back to Channel 97 News. Today for lunch, you are having stuffed crust pizza, salad, potato wedges, and shelled diced peaches. On Monday, the lunch is noon improved hamburger or chicken patty on a bun. <laughs> Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 55 and a low of 32, and leading into the weekend, high of 55. Looking ahead on Monday, the weather will be cloudy with a high of 54 and a low of 29. Did you know that pigs snuggle close to one another and prefer to sleep nose to nose? Oh. On this day in history, in 1929, the first telephone was installed in the White House. Don't forget about pennies for pasta. The winning homeroom gets a pasta party offered by Olive Garden. Next week will be Penny Wars. Kona Ice will be here during next Thursday, PBIS Reward. Make sure you bring your money if you want some. Baseball and girls soccer will start next week. Make sure to have a concussion form and a physical or you will not be able to try out. Good luck, Centurions. Have, have a, a great, great day, day Centurions. Centurions. What's your name? Madison. Alina. What grade are you in? Six. Six. What's your favorite cereal? Lucky, Lucky Charms. Charms. Who's your favorite athlete? Madison. Will. What's your favorite color? Gray. Silver. Thank you. The next month, we will be showing you successful women in history. Stay tuned. Ellen Cho is an American engineer, and she is a former astronaut, also the current director of the Johnson Space Center. She was born on May 10, 1958. She became director of the center upon retirement as a previous director, Michael Coates. She was born in Los Angeles, California, but she considers La Mesa, California to be her hometown. She graduated from Grossmont High School, La Mesa, California in 1975. She received a Bachelor of Science degree in Physics from San Diego State University in 1980 and a Master of Science degree in Doctorate of Electrical Engineering from Stanford University in 1981 and 1985. One of her quotes was, education is what allows you to stand out. Some things that she likes to do is that she enjoys traveling and that she is a flutist. Thank you. This week's Penny for Pasta Challenge is stuffed for a buck. Votes are a dollar each. Pay at the intersection each morning and vote for the tutor you want to see stuck on the wall at lunch on Friday. As a reminder, regular pennies for pasta is still going on in homeroom. Please bring in your spare change. Remember, the winning homeroom gets free Olive Garden lunch. Please help us support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society that helps kids with blood cancer. Back to the joke of the day. So why was everyone so tired on April 1st? Because they just finished a 31-day march. <laughs> what monster plays the most jokes on April Fool's? I don't know. You'll have to find out tomorrow.